We talk about in our studies the vulnerability of our electric grid. It's, it was designed over 100 years ago. It's very fragile. It's, it's antiquated. It's subject to single points of failure. Well, it, it just logic would tell you that, that terrorists, as you see around the world, uh, you see uh, power plants that uh, become a victim of either abuse or whatever the issue is, you're affecting a huge amount of people. When you take uh, a wind turbine that generates two, two and a half, three megawatts of power, and you've got them across uh, 36 square miles or across an entire county, um, they, they become a much harder target to, to take completely out of the operation. We've seen attempts to attack our, our grid through cyber. Uh, we've seen physical attacks, uh, over 300 attacks on substations people who are vandals, people who have a political agenda to bring down our energy. And we, so the resiliency we need in a modern grid is not there yet. And all of that power is put onto a transmission line that's sent throughout the state. Um, and, it, and it's not like it's magically only going to Detroit or only going to Grand Rapids. It's, it's anyone along the way that's on, on that power line. So it does make for a more reliable source of energy, uh, somewhat more hardened, more bulletproof. The improvements to the transmission lines, to the what, high lines, high voltage lines, uh, were quite substantial because it was necessary to take the power out of where it was being generated. So everybody in the whole community benefits from the improved overall infrastructure of uh, the new electrical system. One of the energy companies had a gas explosion, I remember this winter. And, and your home heating gas is all of a sudden compromised because there's only one place that happens. When you look at those turbines out there making uh, two and a half megawatt a piece, uh, they're putting onto the grid, but they're able to be drawn off the grid locally as well. So it, it, it's a more comfortable feeling. It's probably the right thing to be doing um, for the good of you know, the community.